All right, guys, want to make sure you are prepared for the week ahead. On Monday, we have manufacturing data. On Wednesday, we have services PMI. And then on Friday, we have unemployment data. So those are the big ones to watch. So in anticipation of these events, you know, stocks could go down. And then once data comes out better than expected, if it does, that's where we can get those little bounces, okay? But if we miss on the data, right, that won't be good as people start to fear, you know, that our economy's deteriorating, okay? So we want positive data, okay? So those are some to watch this week. And so Monday, it looks like, you know, because we sold off Friday, we could start the morning, you know, early in the morning, selling off before possibly bouncing, but that will depend on get on the manufacturing data that comes out. Remember, if manufacturing does come out well, you know, a stock that I like is Zometry, ticker symbol XMTR. So remember, supply chains coming back to the US, right? Made in America theme, Zometry helps with that. And they work, you know, in other countries as well, but they also, you know, it, it fits with that Made in America and manufacturing. They're the AI of manufacturing. So if we have a good number there, I could see Zometry XMTR going higher, okay? And then some stocks that have really good momentum right now. One of the strongest ones I saw was Palantir. Okay, aside from, you know, the steel stocks I was telling you about, remember those went up huge in after hours, guys, with uh, Nucor, which is N-U-E, and then also Cleveland Cliff, C-L-F. They are up huge in after hours. So I would let those come down, guys. I'm not chasing when it's way overbought. Remember, RSI is gonna save you from buying the top. I need to see a pullback on those. I expect some sort of profit taking where we'll get a better entry point. But if it doesn't, just wait patiently, guys, if you're interested in those. But Palantir just got huge buying volume on Friday. So clearly institutions, you know, pension funds want to get in this going into June. And so this is going to be one to watch. Even though it's insanely overvalued, it doesn't matter. This is that cult following stock. It's kind of like the new Tesla. Tesla used to be this way. But now Palantir, I believe, is a new Tesla. AI in the military, having the government contracts as well as the commercial side growing, okay? But for me, I bought this, you know, 17 bucks a share. Again, if you bought this a long time ago, some of you five, six bucks a share, you just keep holding because if this does go to $400 a share one day, like Dan Ives believes, crazy, imagine the gains, right? So you gotta just stay away from all the short-term headline news and just keep holding if you bought that early because that's your lotto ticket right there. One day cashing that out for a hundred bagger or whatever, crazy, it's possible on that one, okay? That could be like the next Microsoft buying in early, right, with IPO. So that one had some good buying volume. So that's one to watch if you're, you know, momentum trader, you could try to play that one. Okay, see how that starts off on Monday. And there's resistance, by the way, with Palantir to $133 a share. Right now it's like 131. So watch that level 133. It's possible it rejects off of that and then comes back down maybe to that 126, 127 level. And that would be a good spot to, you know, take a position and plan for a bounce to all time high. So Potentially, that's what could happen on that one. So you can look for that trade setup there, okay? Tesla was selling off pretty hard on Friday. So maybe it sells off a little bit more to start Monday. And then you could take a position in that one, okay? Maybe that one takes a while to regain that strength back up. But I believe Tesla's going to get there as soon as they get to these other catalysts with the next vehicle, with robotics, right? Uh, robots, uh, full self-driving, a lot of things, guys. So at some, and the, the robo taxi event, I believe that's June 17th, or no, sorry, June 12th, sorry. And so that's where it could be a sell the news event, how it's been in the past, or like I said, they're gonna have to surprise, say something really good. But we'll see if it runs up leading into that, or if it sells off going into it, then maybe that's the time, you know, to take a position actually going into that event. So it just depends how the stock price, you know, does leading up to that. Um, SoFi is another one, you know, I've mentioned that I like at this price. This is a great company and I believe the stock's eventually going to go higher, especially when we get to interest rate cuts one day, which that may be put on hold for a bit. Like I've talked about in other videos, but SoFi is a great buy right now, in my opinion, in the 13s, 12s. Okay. I recommended it in the 12s not too long ago. So those are some you can look at guys. Like I said, Eli Lilly, I put out a video, you know, on the healthcare side of things with how much that sector's beaten up. If you're a patient long-term investor, I think with how low it is that they're, we're going to have a rebound at some point with the healthcare stocks. And Eli Lilly is best in class in that area. And the stock is off of its highs, just bounce off of support. And I like the weight loss drug space, as you guys know. And they have the Alzheimer's you know, growth that could be in the future as well. And so they're leading the way in that department as well. So that's why I believe it can keep growing 
And the weight loss thing is what I'm most excited about. This is just the beginning of that, guys. We're going to look back, you know, a decade from now and look back. And I think people will kick themselves that they didn't get in the best with Eli Lilly. I also like Novo Nordisk. It's a lot cheaper. So both of those I want to be in, number one and number two. You know, even though may, other companies may come in down the road. Hims and hers, I know you're wondering about. You guys know I've told you to buy this several times when it's low, right? When it went back under 30 again, that was the time buying. I did take my profits again in my short-term account, playing it back up, but long-term, I still have it going, obviously. So that's another good company, but I wait for a pullback on that one, guys, okay? I know, don't FOMO in. We will get opportunities in this market, guys. Just remember that, okay? And of course, if you have a question about another stock, that's what I'm here for. Just ask me and I'll help you as best as I can, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.